the Iguazu Falls, where more than a thousand tons of water plummet over the cliffs every second. The power of this roaring mass of water is pretty daunting, but not for these little birds. Great dusky swifts happily fly straight through the curtains of water. 18 centimeters of bird taking on 80 meters of waterfall, just like that. But what could possibly bring them to do it? In the heart of South America, between Brazil and Argentina, the nearly three kilometer long canyon of the Iguazu Falls shapes the landscape. An average of 1.5 million liters of water drops down the series of waterfalls every second. The highest waterfall is an impressive 80 meters deep and bears the promising name Devil's Throat. Spray from the falls reaches so high it's visible from space. These large clouds of spray permanently soak the surrounding rainforest, creating thick, lush, subtropical vegetation. Animal life is equally varied and abundant, and one of the biggest daredevils out there is the great dusky swift. It's not just for the fun of it that these birds go up against the thundering waterfalls. Really, it's a survival strategy. Great dusky swifts spend their days on the wing, snatching insects flying out of the forest. But when the sun goes down, the forest stops being a safe place for them. A long time ago, the birds spotted a perfect roost behind the massive curtains of water, far away from predators. They even build their nests on the rocky outcrops lining the falls to protect their eggs and chicks. But getting hold of a good spot isn't so easy. Even with kilometers of cliff available, the birds still fight over prime roosting sites. They seem to be naturally aggressive, which is probably a useful evolutionary gift for a bird that weighs approximately 60 grams, but wants to fly through tons of water. One theory put forward by an evolutionary biologist suggests that the unusual behavior of great dusky swifts might go back to a time before records began, when the dry season was more intense and there was much less water in the rivers. This would have meant the water curtain was thinner and easier for the birds to fly through. The theory concludes that as the water flow increased, the great dusky swifts simply evolved to withstand the growing power of the waterfall. Nesting here certainly has its challenges. Rocky ledges that never flood are always in demand. More experienced pairs know exactly where they can find them and will reuse these ledges season after season. In such a cramped space, the female usually lays just one egg. But for the younger birds, all this is new. Some of them seem to struggle with the basics of breeding. Every year, the rivers fill up. Before long, seven times as much water will be thundering over the falls. That's 10,000 tons per second. Now, the location of the nest ledge becomes critical. The young pair are in trouble. The rising waters have flooded their nest. All is lost. The more experienced pair is still safe. Together, they take care of their chick. And after six weeks, it's time to learn to fly. The fledgling ventures out of the nest. It's never seen what lies beyond the wall of water. The young, great dusky swift spreads its wings for the first time and masters the air and the water. These small birds have harnessed the ferocious power of the Iguazu Falls. Along with the thousands of other animal species and tens of thousands of plant species,
great dusky swifts have contributed to Brazil and Argentina's Iguazu National Parks being listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But outside the borders of the national parks, the landscape is being altered beyond recognition by logging, intensified agriculture, forestry plantations, and rural settlement. So let's keep a lookout for sustainable products that don't harm rainforests. And if you want to know more about the vital role forests play in the environment, go ahead and click on our video about worldwide deforestation.